Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last episode, uh, we are kind of escaping from the Blackbird. We got all of our stuff back, and um, we're fighting the Golem boss now. So let's get to it. Yeah, he's afraid of heights, so yeah, he won't attack. So feel free to wail on him. Let's try a Twin Charm. If this won't work, nothing will. Give me my stuff. Nope, I guess he does not have anything to give you. Alright, so let's continue to pound on him. Mm -mm -mm. I want to do... Cube Toss is a very good move. It's probably one of the best double techs in the game, in my opinion. For damage dealing, anyways. Ayla's Rock Throw and uh, Marl's Ice 2. Leap Slash. You can, in fact, miss with the Leap Slash. Yeah, go figure. I've seen it happen. Same with the Uzi Punch. That seems to be easier to miss with, though. Oh, look, and I killed him before he got away. Experience, tech points, all that good stuff. Luca, don't give up. Mwahaha. It's complete. I've done it. See these beautiful wings? Now this is a king's throne. I now name it Theodore Dalton Imperial XS S9. No, I don't know. <laughs> and they're gonna be my first victims. Arrow Dalton Imperial Engage. No, 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 no. Stop the music. Mwahaha, <laughs> There we go. Ready for takeoff. That's got to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen in a video game. I swear. No! Cut the music! And then, like, boss battle music comes on. Yeah. We have liftoff, Houston! Uh, Wolseley. No, I'm kidding. Uh, look! Yeah, Ted Wolseley translated this, so... Just so you know. And I also noticed something, too. You know the soldiers that, um, at the beginning in North Steinbeckler's lab, the ones named Pierre, um, Vix, and P Pite, no, Pierre, Vix, and Wedge. Vix is supposed to be Biggs. Uh, the same thing happened in, um, Final Fantasy VI with the soldiers that are with Terra at the beginning. He was also supposed to be, um, uh, Biggs, but was named Vix. So, yeah, Biggs and Wedge are um, supposed to be a reference to Star Wars. So, oh, Marl's pissed. Oh my god, she just jumped off a plane onto another plane. Alright, we have to fight Dalton. Now, he has something for us, I know. Come on, baby. Give me what you got. A power meal. I have no idea what they do. Honestly, if somebody knows, please tell me, because I don't know what they do. Alright, so I want to do the, um... I want to do cube toss, but I was on frog. Silly me. We're running low on MP here, so I'm going to have to heal up and do all that stuff pretty darn soon. And yeah, he uses fire as opposite to ice and water. So we gotta be careful there. Ooh! Don't worry, Marl has life too. I may be able to actually show that off if Ayla dies. Sweet! Oh no, she didn't die. Dang it! I wanted to show off life too. Oh well. Maybe next time. Heal. Might as well use one on them too. This battle isn't really last very long, and you'll see. It's very short.
Dalton Plus. That is so funny. See, it's over already. Go, Golem Boss. And, well, we killed him, so he doesn't show up. And he gets sucked into the portal. I don't want to give any spoilers, but he, um, he shows up again in the DS version. I'll just say that. But in this version, he does not. That's the, the end that we see of him. That groundling thief! Epic okay? Epic steer okay? Okay. Aryosh, hit the Y button quickly. Okay. Oops, that wasn't the Y button. Wow. That's not good. Um, X button? Um. Okay. I might do. Oh, whoops. Um. Dalton did it! I did not shoot down that plane. Nope. Don't look at me. Yeah, Justin. Er, Justin? I don't know any Justins, do you? Justice. Dalton got what he deserved. Whoa, that ship can fly. Fantastic, we're actually in his debt. Epoch in good shape. Epoch become bird. Josh. Yeah, that's right. That poor lad. Josh strong. Josh won't die. Well, I hate to break it to you, but, you know, there's such a thing as reality. Yeah. He's gotta be here somewhere. I'll find him. Is that healthy? I guess the second stage, or the first stage is denial, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess we have to go through the stages here. Stages of mourning. Alright, let's head here. See, he's gonna have new stuff for us after all that. So, um, yeah. I think I just gave away something, but I'll cut that out. person go up north on the cape. What is this? That is Alfredor. Janice's cat. Gotta seize the day. Gee, seeing you has really made my day. Are you being sarcastic? It's hard to tell. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look at someone pass by here after you left. Friend of yours. Glad to see you're all recovered. Mm, start from scratch. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, but... We have hope. You can do it. I mean, if the people in the future can, I'm, I'm sure you can too. Alright, so they say that some person's up on the cape looking for people. So let's go. And... Ooh, who is this? So it's you. Magus. Behold, everything's at the bottom of the sea. Gone, the magic kingdom of zeal and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I once lived there, but I was another person then. Hmm, a dimensional warp. This power is beyond human control. No, we'll be dragged into the warp! Shahala! Uh-oh. No, Janice, stay away! The Memon machine turned into Lavos! No, I, I don't think that's what's actually happened. Maybe uh, the Memon machine fused into Lavos or something? I don't know, you tell me. Shahala! Janice! Oh, man. Lavos is such a jerk. Okay, so there's all the three gurus that we know. They get sent to their time periods. This, hey, nothing here. This must be the end of time. And Janus gets thrown back here into the Middle Ages, where he becomes Megas. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out already.
Janus is in fact Magus. Well, that's going to be all for this episode, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.